Learn how you can add a speech bubble callout onto your next video with Clipchamp. Start by logging into Clipchamp or sign up for free. Next, you'll be taken inside the editor. The first thing you'll need to do is import the video you'd like to add the speech bubble onto. Do this by clicking on the import media button, selecting the asset and then hitting open. Your video will load into your media library here. Now add it into your timeline by dragging and dropping it in just like this. Next, to add a speech bubble to the video, you'll navigate over to the toolbar and click into the content library tab. The shapes vectors will be a featured category, but you can also click into the drop down arrow of the visuals tab and then select shapes. Once inside, scroll down to the call outs collection. This collection houses our arrows and speech balloon shapes. Once you've found the one you want to use, Simply drag and drop it into your timeline, making sure to place it on top of all the other assets. Once added in, that speech bubble can be squished, stretched, rotated, flipped, and resized. You can also change the color or add a gradient color. So firstly, to edit the size of that speech bubble, jump into the stage and then drag the corners of the speech bubble in or out to make it bigger or smaller. Then use the side handles to squish or stretch it. You can rotate it in any direction you like by dragging the rotate button. Then finally, drag that shape across the video preview until you're happy with where it's placed. For this example, I'll add it next to the person in the video. Lastly, to adjust the color of the shape, in the floating toolbar, click into the color box and you can now select from a solid color, enter in a color code, Use the color picker to match it to something that's on your video or click the plus button here to find something more specific. You can also choose from a preset gradient color or make your own gradient color. The final step is to add text onto your speech bubble. To access all of the available text styles, navigate over to the toolbar and click into the text tab. You can scroll through all of the text style options but for a speech bubble, we recommend the plain text option. When you have found the one you want to use, drag and drop it into your timeline, placing it on top of all of the other assets. Now to customize that text, navigate into the stage where the text editing options will appear. To change what the text reads, click on the pencil icon and then type out your changes. To change the color, click on the color button and then select from a default color option, enter in a color code, pick a color from something that's on your screen, or in the HSV color picker, you can find something more specific. Next, to change the font of the text, click on the font drop-down box and scroll through all of the options. Simply click on the one you want to action that change. Do this as many times as you'd like until you're happy with the font you've chosen. Now you'll need to drag your text on top of that speech bubble in the video preview. Then adjust the size by dragging the text box corners in or out to make it bigger or smaller. If you have rotated your speech bubble, you can also rotate the text by dragging the rotate button like this until it fits perfectly. Once complete, make sure to play your video back and check all of your changes or make any further adjustments to the colors, font or placement. And it's as simple as that. Once all of your edits are complete, export your video by heading to the export button, selecting your video quality, and then once the export is complete, it will download to your device all ready for you to share. And that's how you can add a speech bubble call out to your next video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for our weekly how-to videos.